So for this last episode of Viral Rewind for the 2021 year, we're going to look at an email worm that coincides with the new year called Happy 99. And here it is on the desktop. Now you see we got our system folder open here. And this is going to kind of play a part in this email world because we're going to see some files dropped here when we open it. But here's Happy 99. It's open and you to see it gives us this little graphical pop-up. Showing a bunch of fireworks, and the title bar says Happy New Year 1999, which kind of gives you an idea when this email worm was released because it came out in January 99. So, kind of good. So, it's that, and it did actually successfully get around as an email worm and get on many different systems. All it really does is replicate. So, when we look in our system directory here, we see we got three files that it's dropped. It's dropped this sky.dll, sky.exe, and windsock32.sky. And we also say we have the windsock32.dll here. Now, windsock, of course, is an important communications protocol in Windows for handling net traffic. And what the Happy99 email worm does is it infects the normal windsock by first making a copy of it here. So this is actually the original winsock32.dll file, just renamed with .scott at the end. And then it makes a modification to the original winsock32.dll here so that it can listen on the email SMTP and any newsgroup net ports. So by doing that, what Happy99 does is when you send any kind of outgoing email, say you do it through Microsoft Outlook or something like that, or you're using some kind of news group service and you're posting in there, it will monitor the communications on that and it will take the addresses of the users that you send email or do kind of any news group chats with and it will create its own little message complete with no subject or body, but it will uh, attach happy 99 to that message it's send it. And of course you won't see this because in stuff like Microsoft Outlook you're not going to see it in the send folder or any kind of news group outgoing stuff. So basically happy 99 does it in the background every time you send some kind of message out whether it be through email or through news group. And it was pretty again successful at spreading. And so it got onto many different machines and again all the user would see when they would open it is they get this graphic, but they would of course not be paying attention to their Windows system folder where these files are dropped. And sky.exe is the application it drops that would launch when Windows starts up to make use of the infected winsock32.dll, which would call the sky.dll here, which has all the information for, again, attaching Happy99 onto the system there, which is basically what sky.exe is. It's happy 99 without this graphical payload. So that's pretty much it for it. There's not a whole lot to the happy 99 email worm except for giving this graphic here and spreading onto other systems via email in news groups. So with that, that's pretty much it for the happy 99 email worm.